Hey, hi there Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda and I'm thanking you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for your weekly reading, April 14th to the 20th of 2019. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is a condensed general reading, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibrations into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out that description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Aquarius. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Four of Pentacles, Aquarius. This is Earth energy. Looks like you've got stability on your mind. There's being cautious and using wanting balance and wanting to be stable and conserving. You're holding on and being defensive in your comfort zone. You're saving and being cautious and protecting your money and your boundaries. The advice is to go with the flow. Your foundation is firm. You might have a fixed attitude that could limit and block new opportunities. This is holding back, but nothing ventured is nothing gained. So holding on to his gold, he risks nothing, nor does he gain anything. This can apply to anything someone holds dear, also being a miser with your love and emotion, as well as money. This is taking a risk and get things moving again. Let's be patient. Cultivate your best talents. Be generous in your wealth and spirit. Because you might be in danger of becoming stingy or holding on too much to feelings and not letting go. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. Number five of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Hero Fent. This could be a Taurus, or this could also be you if, if Taurus is prevalent in your chart. This is a belief system. It's ruled by the conventional. This can be a relationship, a commitment. This can mean assistance from a wise and helpful person. It's also the urge to find spiritual meaning in life. It's spiritual truths and living by a higher code of conduct. This might be the importance of social approval, the need to conform to society, preference for the outer forms of religion, the ritual, the creed, the ceremony. This is doing what is socially expected. This can be in a marriage, an alliance, it's love through helpful doctrine, social institutions, particularly marriage or formal relationships. These are blessings and conscious choices made on an intellectual basis. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. It's your attitude. Number six of pentacles, Aquarius. Earth energy here could be your moon is Taurus. This is harmony and the give and take of money. This is others sharing with you justly, and you're in a balanced position concerning the income and the outflow. Good things are coming to you and going out from you. This can be a friend or a family member lending or giving money to help out. Could be the approval of a loan. But money owed will be paid and prosperity should be shared with others. This is a win-win situation. Dispensation, giving and receiving, equality and fairness. This can be gifts. Someone being a successful merchant, someone charitable and supportive and benevolent. And the needy is submissive and appreciative. The giver is rewarding others, making donations, paying bills, even mentoring. It can be giving of your time and companionship. This is financial flow and charity and assistance. It's giving back and generosity. It's the pay it back card. And advice not to be too proud to accept help from those who have more. 
This card reminds us what goes around comes around. Someone with empathy may have seen the light. It could be a work bonus. Someone that's an investor. Could be partners and being kind and generous towards each other. It's a, it's a good omen. Could mean your health is going to have an ups, upswing. Or maybe you're reaching out to doctors. But there's fairness here. And it's using your abundance to help others. And it's a feeling of relief at receiving assistance. It's karma, cause and effect. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Ten of Pentacles, Aquarius. More Earth energy. Beautiful card for the future. Just beautiful. This is home and your ancestors and has to do with legacy. It's a solid and secure life. It's a monetary gain and increased stability. You'll be enjoying those fruits of labor. can be a house or a dwelling. It's security and material comfort, wealth and social standing. There's permanence here and wisdom and physical security. This can be a successful financial venture or a settlement or an inheritance that will provide for those concerned or a special partnership. It's a card of traditions. It could be a holiday celebration. And if you have a question as to how things should be done, think about back to the way that your elders would have solved an issue or a problem. This is a long-term stability card. It's firm foundations and financial stability or your home and family life. This can also mean a property acquired. It's a materially settled way of life and it can if it's if you are buying or selling a property it will be under favorable circumstances. There's been discipline and now an envisioned goal has been reached. There's attentiveness and alertness an overview. There's protection here. It's home and security a strong family background, and you will have financial stability and generally a good family life. This can be inheritance or settlements. It's traditional. There's contribution here and conservation. Someone who is gratified, and they are grateful they can share wealth and abundance with those they love. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. The three of wands, Aquarius, fire energy. This is what's unseen. You've been waiting for something. You're expecting something that's already been set into motion. And now it's going to be coming in. Just what you've been waiting for. Stability. This is working on already established patterns. It's acting mature and responsible and others responding to you in a positive way. So use that confident attitude. These are things set into motion. There's foresight and long-term plans and there's no turning back now. There's a bright future ahead and it's a great time to let go of past hurts. Sometimes this is travel. But growth is certain. It's a project about to be completed. And benefits being reaped from enterprises. And even though something has been achieved, there's still some more to do yet. But your efforts are rewarded. This is expanding your horizons. And in love, make that first move. And sort out what you want to achieve and what others are expecting of you. And what your actions bring about. What have you failed to get done or left out? Who is waiting for you? Where are you headed? You might be doing things like strategizing and planning. Acting on intentions. Ex exercising creative powers, broadening your horizons. You could be managing operations and gathering input. You could be delegating, and you are thinking and planning. Maybe even planning travel. But there's optimism here, and more opportunities coming. So stay the path. And now your advice from the Oracle deck, The Sacred Traveler, by Denise Lynn. Aquarius, you got ascending the mountain, so keep going forward. 
The journey might be hard right now, but a great view awaits you. You most certainly can achieve your goal. However, you must continue forward through hard work and diligence. Do not give up. Even if it seems hard, keep going forward. Even if it sometimes seems that you're going up three steps and falling back two, you are still getting closer to your goal. Sometimes you may need to take smaller steps, but do not stop. Every step takes you closer to the peak of the mountain. And when you arrive, the view will be spectacular. It will be worth all your hard effort. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that it's okay to stumble or fall down. Just don't stay down. Do not allow yourself to be limited by the beliefs of others or even by your own limiting beliefs or fears. Go beyond boundaries of self-imposed barriers. Live passionately and courageously. Keep moving forward fearlessly. Speak up for yourself. Honor your truth. This isn't the time to be timid or hold back. Go forward gallantly with your banner of truth waving in the wind. You are a light bearer for others. Here's your take note moment. We should all know that our natural state of being is feeling joy. We know that we're in the opposite state when we feel bad. It takes much more energy to generate negativity than it does to be naturally joyful. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or even say hi. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.